sponsored by Brilliant. Among renewables, solar energy has been growing rapidly and driving the world towards a low carbon future. We've been seeing a wave of innovations in the field, like perovskite solar cells, solar tiles and roofs, and organic panels. But what if we could harvest solar energy from the windows and skylights of our homes and skyscrapers, or even from our car windows and cell phone screens? Let's explore transparent solar panels and how they stack up against conventional panels. Could transparent solar cells be the future of solar energy? Or is the future still not so clear? I'm Matt Farrell. Welcome to Undecided. In modern society, we see glass everywhere, ranging in size from a small cell phone screen to huge windows and skyscraper facades. It's estimated that there are 5 to 7 billion square meters of glass surfaces in the United States. So imagine that number for the whole world. And in most buildings, these large areas of glass remain an unused energy potential. Now, according to the International Energy Agency, or the IEA, buildings in the construction sector add up to one-third of the total energy consumption in the world. That represents 40% of the total direct and indirect carbon emissions into the atmosphere. And even though we've seen some progress there, which I have talked about in previous videos, there is a long pathway to decarbonize buildings around the world. Designs that employ passive heating and natural illumination through triple glazed windows and use rooftop solar panels, they look great. But what if we could go one step further? What if we could tap into all of that solar energy potential passing through those glass facades and windows, not only to provide natural illumination and heating, but to produce electricity? Enter transparent solar panels. Now, photovoltaic glass, as the technology is also called, is a see-through type of solar panel. And unlike traditional mono or polycrystalline silicon panels, which are opaque, this new technology is manufactured to provide some level of transparency. And in theory, these panels can be employed in anything from small mobile devices, such as cell phones, to huge windows of skyscrapers. But while standard solar panels absorb visible light to produce power, a truly transparent solar panel works based on a counterintuitive idea, capturing invisible light and letting visible light pass through it. The term transparent solar panel makes most of us think of something that's as transparent as glass, which is just a little bit misleading. Technically, this term can refer to both a panel that's completely or only partially see-through. So let's take a look at the two types of transparent solar panels. The first one is partially transparent solar panels. Now, these panels are manufactured using a thin film technology where ultra-thin layers of semiconductor materials are deposited over a sheet of glass. Then another sheet of glass is glued on top to form a tasty semiconductor sandwich. These ultra-thin layers of semiconductor material are only a few microns thick, and it's what makes these solar panels become transparent. And each layer that you add increases the opacity just a little bit. While current silicon panels, like you have on your rooftop, achieve efficiencies above 20%, the efficiency of standard thin film solar panels is considerably lower at around 7 to 10%. A great application of partially transparent solar panels is in office buildings where the sunlight is intense. So the panels are installed in order to reduce the sunlight level that goes into the building. In order to control the internal heating of buildings, engineers take into account the solar heat gain coefficient, or the SHGC, when designing their windows and skylights. The SHGC basically measures the amount of available solar heat that can pass through the glass. The higher this percentage, the more heat goes into the building. The SHGC of Onyx's panels, one of the leaders in transparent photovoltaic glass for buildings, range from 10% to 40%, limiting the solar heat that goes into the building while producing electricity at the same time. The second type is fully transparent solar panels. The dream of having solar panels that would look like regular glass started with a group of researchers at Michigan State University, which created the first fully transparent solar cell in 2014. The team created the Transparent Luminescent Solar Concentrator, or TLSC which uses organic salts to capture a very specific portion of the solar spectrum of wavelengths of invisible light, like ultraviolet and infrared, while allowing normal, visible light to pass through. When sunlight hits the panel, UV and IR light is turned into a different type of infrared that glows. Then this new wavelength moves to the edge of the window where it's converted into electricity by solar cells around the edge. Since the materials don't absorb or emit light in the visible spectrum, they look transparent to the human eye. The transparent solar panel created by the researchers achieved an 86% transparency level. Unfortunately, the efficiency of this prototype was very low, less than 1%. But they said that there's a potential of reaching 10% efficiency. Compared to conventional silicon-based panels, it's obviously a big negative that the efficiency of transparent panels is just so low. But when it comes to solar panels, efficiency is not everything. 
The low efficiency of transparent solar panels means that we need a larger area covered for the same amount of power that a 20% efficient rooftop array could create. However, given the transparent solar panels could be integrated into buildings, there's more potential surface area to compensate for the lower efficiency. An interesting advantage of partially transparent solar panels is that thin film solar cells can achieve high efficiencies even when they're not at optimal tilting angles, which is great for buildings and skyscrapers where the windows are installed vertically. Thin film cells are also more tolerant of heat, having a lower decrease in efficiency than traditional crystalline silicon solar panels at high temperatures. Fully transparent solar panels have a clear advantage over partially transparent versions. Since they can turn any glass sheet or window into a photovoltaic cell, they look better and they have a wider range of use cases. But their big negative isn't just their low efficiency. Transparent solar panels utilize organic solar cells, which degrade more rapidly than inorganic solar cells. Thin film, for example, lasts 10 to 20 years, while panels based on crystalline silicon have average lifespans of 25 years or more. Although there are still many improvements to be made, the benefits and wide range of applications, mainly in the building sector, has led companies around the world to explore the technology. But before getting to where we're seeing this tech show up today, if you're interested in learning more about the principles behind solar, I'd strongly recommend checking out the solar energy course at Brilliant. It's a fun, hands-on approach that really helped me wrap my head around some of the central pillars of how solar power works. Everything from the basics of photovoltaics to solar thermal power to photon absorption. It's really a good one. But even if that course doesn't make your brain light up, there's going to be something else for you to enjoy. They have over 60 courses, including topics in scientific thinking, quantum mechanics, and applied science. They've got something for everybody. All of the concepts are taught through fun and interactive challenges to help you understand the why of something, not just the how. It helps to develop your intuition, which is my favorite part about Brilliant, and it taps into the way I learn, and it just makes it fun. Go to brilliant.org slash undecided to sign up for free. The first 200 people will get 20% off their annual premium membership. Thanks to Brilliant and to all of you for supporting the channel. So back to where we're seeing or not seeing transparent solar panels spring up. Onyx Solar is one of the leaders in transparent photovoltaic glass. The company offers two technologies of solar glass, one based on amorphous silicon and another on crystalline silicon, with options ranging from 0 to 38% transparency. Their panes use layers of heat-treated safety glass and can be customized to fit specific projects into anything like curtain walls, canopies, or even floors. But I'll step on that in a minute. An interesting project using their photovoltaic skylight is the McDonald's flagship restaurant at Walt Disney World in Florida. The building became a zero energy building and the first zero emission restaurant in the US. The system is expected to produce over 2 million kilowatt hours of electricity over 35 years and have a payback time in less than four years. Another product from Onyx is their PV facade. Among its projects, the company created the facade for the world's largest Coca-Cola bottling plant in Monterey, Mexico. It consists of 370 large size gray amorphous silicon glass modules and a 20% transparency and it can produce around 17,200 kilowatt hours of energy. Overall, this project is expected to have a payback time in less than one year and reduce heating and cooling energy demand by 24%. But you could also take a huge step into the future and onto a photovoltaic floor with the company's PV pavers. They're designed to be used for pedestrian traffic and can withstand up to 400 kilograms or about 880 pounds. On top of that, they can be customized in a wide range of colors and use the same installation procedures as metal framing and wood floors. One project that's gaining traction is a Manhattan penthouse that used 50 glass pavers for an innovative and solar harnessing terrace. The system reduced 19% of the penthouse's heating and cooling demands and produces electricity at a cost of about a penny. Talk about taking a walk on the bright side. And when it comes to cost, their PV glass costs about $50 per square meter, while a typical solar panel costs usually about $40 to $110 per square meter and a typical double-paned window costs about $24 to $45 per square meter here in Massachusetts, including material and insulation costs. Now, as cool as those are, transparency levels aren't good enough for applications where you need clear windows that look like common glass. For that, you'd want to look at the Australian-based Clearview, which has been manufacturing solar panels that are clear with just a minor tint and have no visual distortion, achieving a transparency of 70%. Their technology is composed of several layers, but in short, their glazing system consists of nano and microparticles scattered over an interlayer of thin film sandwiched between panes of glass. The price per square meter for a triple glazed, low emissive, insulated glass from Clearview is $400. 
Now, comparatively, a common triple pane window ranges from $270 to $430 per square meter. One of their projects was the Warwick Shopping Center Atrium in Perth, Australia. The installation includes 18 triple glaze, low emissive PV glass panes that provide power to the indoor lighting, outdoor signage, and the display of the shopping center. And according to an article from the company, each solar window of this building was able to produce approximately 0.1 kilowatt hours from six to seven hours of sun. Depending on the project, the company estimates the financial payback period can be as low as a year. The carbon payback is less than nine years compared to 100 years for typical double glazed windows. They claim that by using inorganic materials, these PV windows can produce power for more than 20 years with a 0.5% efficiency loss per year. But again, when we come back to the efficiency, it's still not that great. Today, their industry standard 3.5 by 1.6 meter solar window can give about 30 watts per square meter, while a typical 340 watt solar panel can give about 200 watts per square meter. That means to produce the same power of a rooftop PV system, we need six times more area for the transparent solar panels to equal out. But that's where we get back to some of the really interesting research that's being done. Aiming to increase the efficiency, the University of Michigan and the team led by Stephen Forrest has been getting interesting results. They've been exploring the use of organic materials in the panels, but the main challenge is how to prevent the rapid degradation. To overcome that problem, the team has been adding layers to the sun-facing side of the glass. They tried multiple materials in various tests, but the latest one with fullerene materials has shown some promise. They tested this new transparent solar panel under several conditions, like simulated sunlight that could shine for the equivalent of one sun up to 27 suns, and temperatures up to 150 degrees Fahrenheit or 65 degrees Celsius. The conclusion was that the solar cells could still provide 80% of their power even after 30 years. They've also achieved a 40% transparency and believe it's possible to increase that number to 60%. And they're also working hard to raise that 10% efficiency up to 15% at higher transparencies. It's not hard to see that transparent solar panels still have a challenging pathway to full transparency at higher efficiencies or at least efficiencies closer to typical panels, and power densities at a reasonable cost for the market. Today, with an efficiency lower than 10% and power densities of 30 watts per square meter, this technology still requires a considerably larger area to produce the same amount of power that a rooftop system can give you. But it's also important to remember that the University of Michigan increased the original 1% efficiency in 2014 to about 10% in 2021. That's significant and really exciting. Hopefully the technology becomes more cost competitive in time. But what do you think? Do you think we'll be seeing transparent solar in most of our buildings and maybe even our cars, laptops, and smartphones? Jump in the comments and let me know. And thanks as always to my patrons, their direct support really helps to produce these videos. Speaking of which, if you like this video, be sure to check out one of the ones I've linked to right here and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you think I've earned it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.